Okay. This is a short tutorial on the week two assignment, so hopefully uh, this video will help you out with your calculations. Uh, we can use the formula uh, body mass index equals 703 times the weight of the individual divided by the individual's height squared. So we're going to use that in, in this video and to work through this assignment. So we'll be given four BMI interval ranges and we will also we'll have the individual's height and we'll be asked to determine the appropriate weight for each range. So I'm going to, use, going to use the height 6 feet 2 inches, which is the same as 74 inches. So be sure to convert your height into inches. All right, so the first range we're looking at is that the BMI is greater than 17, but less than or equal to 22. So we'll take our formula, and this represents the longer than average life. Uh, we know that the height is 74 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and square that. 74 times 74 gives us 5,476. So we can rearrange our formula and solve it for W to make it a little bit easier for all of the other calculations. Uh, the original formula will be placing the, the BMI formula in the middle here, 703 times weight divided by height squared, and then that's greater than 17 or less than or equal to 22. I'm going to rearrange this formula and solve this formula for uh, W since that's what we're look we will be looking for in each one of our calculations. So the first thing to do to do is to undo our uh, de denominator here. So we want to multiply both sides by H squared. And we're even multiplying this middle by H squared. And when we do that, that would cancel, those two would cancel out. So now I have 17 times h squared is less than 703 times the weight is less than or equal to 22 times the height squared over here. Now the last step in order to get w by itself is to divide everything by 703. All right, so that give us, gives us 17 times the height squared, all divided by 703. W in the middle, less than or equal to 22 times the height squared, all divided by 703. So this is the formula, this is the setup I'm, that I'm going to use in each one of our ranges. Uh, so the only thing that we have to replace is the height squared in each one of these and then make our calculations, perform our cal calculations. We know from the previous screen that my height squared was 5,476. So I'm going to replace h squared with 5,476 because I've already squared my height. I'll do the same thing over here. All right, then perform the calculations. 17 times 5,476 divided by 703 is 132. 22 times 5,476 divided by 703 is 171. So that tells me that for me to be, uh, or for this height to be longer than the average group, my weight needs to be greater than 132, but less than or equal to 171. Now, there are different ways that we can show that, uh, various notations that we can show this same answer. So let's look at the different notations. First of all, we have what we call, we're going to let x equal the set of all individuals that will live longer than an average life. And we have what we call set notation. Now, set notation includes this x equals the braces mean the set of all w such that okay so we'll write our answer right in the middle of here w is greater than 132 and w is less than or equal to 171 now interval notations uh, deals with brackets and parentheses. I like to do my graphing first. It kind of helps with the interval notation. So let's look at this 
solution graphed on a number line. So it's between 132, and since I have the or equal to, I'm going to write a bracket there, 171. So I use parentheses if I don't have the or equal to, then I use the brackets if I do. So interval notation kind of just follows that. We'll write x equals parentheses 132 comma 171 bracket. So again, we use the bracket to show that it's or equal to use parentheses when it's not or equal to. Okay, so you can pause that if you need to. The next situation, we have our uh, probably not overweight group. So I've already set up our equation here. So we will do the same thing. We've already solved for W in the, in the other equation, so we don't need to do that again. The only thing that I needed to replace was the 23 and the 25 over here. need to change those out. So now I'm going to substitute in my h squared, which is 5,476. Okay, and then we'll perform our calculations. 23 times 5,476 divided by 703, 179. 25 times 5,476 divided by 703, 195. Now we're going to write that answer in the three different notations. So the set notation, set of all individuals that are probably not overweight, set of weight pl uh, braces, W, put your bar that means such that, and then write your answer right here in the middle. So uh, W is less than, or greater than, I'm sorry, 179, and W is less than or equal to 195. Interval notation. Well, let's do our graph first. Greater than 179, so parentheses. Less than or equal to 195, so somewhere in between the two. And then interval notation. Parentheses 179, comma 195 bracket. So again, you only have to show this all three of these notations for one of your intervals. You pick the interval that you want to show your notation for. I'm showing it on all of them so you can see it a few different times. All right, third range, probably overweight. So 25 is on the lower end, 30 is on the higher end. So I'm replacing those in my formula. Now I'll go in and change my h squares to 5,476. then I'll perform my calculations. So on my left hand side I end up with 195. So W is greater than 195 and W is less than or equal to 234. So somewhere in between there. So if my weight is somewhere in between there then that tells me that I'm probably in the overweight group. Now remember that with the BMI there can be some uh, reasons why this would not be accurate so make sure you Check, check on that to see, uh, find out some reasons why the BMI may not be accurate. Set notation. So set notation. The X equals the braces W and that bar. And then we write our answer right here in between. Greater than 195 and less than or equal to 234. The graph. Parentheses 195. Bracket. 234, shading in between, and then interval notation just follows the graph, parentheses 195 comma 234 bracket. Okay, the third and final one is the obese group, if, it's, if our BMI is greater than 30. So we're going to identify the weight uh, for that. So this time, since we just have greater than 30, I don't have a left-hand side. I just have W is greater than 30 times H squared all divided by 703. 
so I will replace h squared with my h squared 5476 all divided by 703 perform that calculation multiply and then divide and that tells me that if my weight is greater than 234 pounds then I'm in the obese group so let's look at the different notations for this um, our set notation just greater than W is greater than 234 our graph parentheses 234 on forever and ever out to the right and that goes out to positive infinity so our interval notation parentheses 234 out to positive infinity and we know we can't weigh in an infinity amount but that's how that's shown in those notations alright I hope that you found this video to be helpful remember you can pause it wherever you need to pause it and uh, review it if you need to. Thanks.